Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be starting a series of making a school management system in React and this will be a system where we can control students and set homework and stuff like that and it's a sort of concept that we would have as maybe a portfolio project. So this isn't going to be a full sort of system that's going to be fully working, we're going to make it um, working to a certain extent but it won't be ready to use in a school necessarily as many of the features aren't going to be included but let's get on to the features that we will include so let's see which pages we're going to have in terms of pages there's going to be staff and students um, so the staff would have a home page a students page where they can view all the students and manage them staff page where they can view other staff and we'll be able to manage them as well and then we got register we've got um, homework we've got timetables and for a student all they'd see is the home page the homework page and the timetables for now and there's also stuff that we might add down the line like exam results which both the staff and students would see Parents' evenings, which would be um, something bigger that you could implement, where you could um, actually have the video call system in the um, website as well. Calendar and school lunch orders and stuff similar to that. So the technologies we're going to use, the main ones are React, Tailwind CSS for styling, Cloudflare workers for backend, and it's also going to be hosted on Cloudflare pages, probably as well. And then uh, Fauna DB for our database, and Off Naught for the accounts and signing in and stuff. So now we've got through the concept, we're going to start to create the app. So now I've opened up my terminal and I'm in the desktop folder. So I'm going to type npx create react app and then I'm going to call it school management and click enter. Then this will create our react app. And now you can open up Visual Studio Code and you can go to the top and click open and locate the file. So here I've got my file and I've opened it up now and this is all working. So now what I can do is I can go to the terminal, create new terminal, and then we will start running our app. So npm start on the terminal. And now you should get um, the local host open up. And this is what we have to start with. So if we go back into our folder, we can see we've got um, the various logos here we don't need those so we're going to delete those straight away um, we don't need this either and then in our source we can get rid of app.test.js and report web vitals and set up tests and the logo as well but now we're gonna have to delete report web vitals there and we're gonna have to delete uh, in here the logo and here the image and now we should have it working again so if we now go back to our app, we see we have everything um, except the logo now, but it's all still working fine. Another thing we need to do now is we need to install Tailwind. So we can close this server for now. We could leave it open, but we don't need to. And now we need to do npm install dash d Tailwind CSS. And then in, we can do npx uh, tailwind css init. 
And now we have a Tailwind um, config.js folder. So what we need to do inside our content, in the module.exports, we need to have some quotes and then we're going to do dot slash source slash star star slash star dot and then we're going to do HTML and uh, JS JavaScript and then what we need to do is we need to go into our CSS um, folder as well so if we go into our index.css we get rid of that then we do at tailwind base and then at tailwind components and at tailwind utilities and save that and now we can start the server again then if we go back in here and we get rid of all our app CSS and we can remove that completely actually and then we remove it here as well then we can get rid of this class name here and here and finally here although we don't need this at all this tag anymore really we can just get rid of this and just have ah uh, yeah let's just do that for now and now you'll see we have this and it's not formatted at all so now we can go in here and we can start to use tailwind just to check it works uh, so we can say text uh, uh, for Excel so that's going to be quite large and we can see it's working now so that is good the final thing we're going to do is install react router so now we can create a new terminal and then we can do a few things First, we're going to do npm install react router at dom and at 6 for version 6. Then we go to our index.js. We can get, get rid of this as well. Then we can import and we're going to do browser router from react router dom and then what we can do here is we can surround this with browser router and then put our app inside of that inside of the browser router we can do routes as well and inside of routes we're going to put each route so we're going to say here route and then we're going to say path equals slash and then we can say our element is app and do it like that and then what we can also do is if we duplicate our app copy and then paste it then let's rename it to um, another app <laughs> I don't know something like that then let's change this text to, to be another app app and then let's just have this as app to make it clearer And then we can go in here and we can import another app. And then in our roots, we can add this again. 
So let's just call this another, and then we can call this another app. And finally, what we need to do is also add routes in here, route and routes. And I think that's it. So here we have at the slash or just a normal, um, we have nothing. And then if we have another, then it's going to bring us to our other page, which is another app. And it works like that. So that's about it for this video. If it was helpful, please like, please subscribe. And I hope you watch future videos on this topic. In the next video, we're going to be looking at the UI and building out some of the UI for our project.